In any good auto glass replacement installation, there are several steps that should be followed to ensure proper and safe work standards. The first thing a good technician will do is to inspect the vehicle for any pre-existing damage in the areas immediately surrounding the windshield. Scratches and any other noticeable damage will be brought to the attention of the vehicle owner. Next, all vulnerable areas of the vehicle will be protected to avoid urethane drips and damage from debris and glass fragments. The next step is to remove the windshield wipers, cowl, and moldings. After completing this step, the installer will then cut the broken or damaged windshield from the pinch well. Now, the installer is using the full cut technique and cutting the existing urethane down to 1 16th of an inch. Once that is completed, the installer is ready to position the replacement windshield in the windshield opening. This enables the installer to check for any problems and determine if the windshield is a proper fit. After a visual check, the installer is ready to prime the pinch weld. The primer ensures the proper adhesion between the urethane and the body of the vehicle. Now the installer cleans the inside of the replacement windshield. This is done to remove any debris on the glass before the glass prep is applied. Next, the glass prep is applied to prepare the glass for the glass primer. The glass primer goes right over the glass prep and promotes adhesion between the urethane and windshield. Now the installer is ready to lay down a bead of urethane into the pinch weld. Once this is completed, the installer is ready to place the windshield into the pinch weld. Most larger windshields take two installers to place the windshield properly. Once the fit has been checked, the installer is ready to reinstall the cowl, the windshield wipers, and moldings. Now, the installer is applying water to the perimeter of the windshield to test for any potential leaks. One of the final things a good installer does is to clean the vehicle before it is returned to the owner. And the last thing the installer does is to make sure that the car is not driven until a safe drive-away time has been accomplished.